going on everyone? So, at least at the time of recording this video, because maybe we got our answer today, but we're all anxiously waiting around for what is Dan Hurley going to do with the Los Angeles Lakers? Is he gonna take the job? Is he gonna stay in UConn? Uh, the reason I am kind of pushing like, hey, like maybe while you're watching this video, you may get the news today, is because they actually have a practice UConn does on Monday. And so the idea is that like, hey, Dan Hurley wants to kind of get this done, get this over with, give us our answer before uh, we end up, uh, or before he would have to jump into the, the UConn job. Now, he's living his best life at MSG with his wife, right? We're all kind of like, hey, what's going to happen, right? We're all kind of at the edge of our seat. Hopefully, he takes the job. Look, I'm all for it. I want him to get the job. Now, there's a lot of talk that like, hey, it's kind of unlikely that it's kind of 50-50 right now. Um, you know, uh, Rick Pitino, legendary head coach uh, for college. Um, I mean, he had stints in the NBA, but eh, let's not go there. But he uh, even talked about how he doesn't believe that um, Hurley's going to take the job because his family doesn't want to move uh, to Los Angeles, that his family kind of wants to stay. I've talked about my concerns, like, is he really going to leave Legacy? A lot of people keep harping on the money, right? Like, is he going to, he's not going to turn down a hundred million. He's not going to turn down a hundred million. Look, he's turned down more money before to go other places. UConn, very likely could match the contract. Uh, UConn could give him somewhere close and he could stay where he's happy, go chase some legacy. The NBA is always going to be there, especially if he goes in three-peats, right? Like it's going to even be even more there. It's not really the Lakers or bust. I know some people, because I've talked so heavily about like, hey, don't get your hopes about this. A lot of people think that like, I don't want him to be the head coach. I absolutely do. I'm hoping he does. I just don't want, like people are kind of going about this as it's a lock. He's coming, right? Dan Hurley, he's the Lakers head coach. And it's like, no, he's not yet. And there is just as, there's more reason for him to stay than there is for him to come to the Lakers, right? But the idea is like, he wants to coach, he would love to coach uh, the Lakers and the legacy that the Lakers are a winning franchise. He wants to win. He'd have a, a win now roster, right? That he can kind of build and add pieces to. You get to coach LeBron James, you make a hundred million plus, right? The Lakers maybe even give him more if he kind of pushes for it, right? The idea, like people are harping on the money and you got to understand when you're making millions and millions of dollars, it's like, you want to be comfortable too. And again, UConn very well could go give him eight million a year. And it's like, yeah, you're not making 10 million a year, but like, hey, you get to chase legacy, you get to be here, you get to stay in Connecticut, right? You don't have to go to LA and how expensive it is there and taxes and all that stuff, right? There's a lot of things to be weighed here beyond that, right? So again, I want him to be the head coach. I'm all for it. But there's reports still coming out that JJ Redick is most likely going to be the head coach for a reason. Now, Again, we got to be patient and see when it's all said and done. Hopefully it happens. Just wanted to kind of get that out of the way. But uh, we got reports yesterday that um, Coach K, Coach K has been very active in kind of being a consultant for the Lakers and trying to help uh, in this coaching search, kind of help steer uh, the Lakers in various directions. It's kind of like one of the links to JJ, right? And it's kind of why everyone was like, all right, JJ is going to get the job. Like, that's not the only reason. It's not the sole reason, but it was a part of it, right? It was another kind of little caveat in, in, the, in the head coaching schemes where it's like, yo, A, Coach K, Duke, JJ, Duke, was one of K's like guys, one of K's favorite guys, still in contact, still in communication. They both speak very high of each other, right? Kind of makes sense that they go in that regard. But supposedly he was big in the Dan Hurley kind of conversations and kind of getting that going. And it's something that I talked about when we got the news of Dan Hurley, right? Like when I was like in my sleep deprived state and I was like, oh yeah, we got the news. Right? Like, um, one of the things that I talked about in that video, if I'm not mistaken, I, I know I definitely talked about it in, in some of these previous videos or follow up videos, but I know one of the things that I talked about was like, Hey, makes sense. JJ Redick or uh, not JJ Redick, uh, uh, coach K would have that kind of, he would be the driving ship and like, Hey, what about Dan Hurley? Right. They have a relationship, you know, he's connected and tied in heavily into the NCAA world also. Right. I mean, a lot of people have even thrown out, like, what about coach K as the head coach? I just think with his age, he's done. He doesn't retire. And he turned down massive money for people talk about like, Oh, would Dan Hurley really turn down the money to go to the, go to, to stay in college? It's happened. Coach K is a great example. 
And a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, it was only 40 million compared to 100 million, but this was 40 million in 2004, right? That would be like 200 million now. It's a big difference, right? 40 million back in 2004, he would have been the highest paid coach in like sports history at that time, right? Like, so again, people go like, why would, you know, anybody turn down an opportunity like this? Well, you had a coach, a historic coach, an excellent coach in his prime that was like, nah, I'm good, right? I want to stay where I'm at. I'm comfortable. I'm good here, right? I don't want to deal with all the scrutiny. I don't want to deal with all the chaos. I want to deal with the noise. I don't want to deal where when I have a bad stretch and fans are, ca or, you know, screaming for me to be fired, right? Like, I don't want to have to deal with all the egos and all the agents and all the, the, the organizations and all the behind the scenes stuff and this, that, and the other, right? Not everyone wants to deal with that. Not everyone looked at the... Again, it's easy for us, like my, myself included. I'm not worth a million. I'm not making millions. I'm not making a hundred million, right? Like, you know, so to us, we're like, why would you turn down a hundred million dollars? But to somebody that's making, you know, six million a year and, you know, is comfortable and living life and they're, you know, they're, they're not 30, right? Like they're, they're in their fifties. Like they're just chilling, right? They're, they're comfortable. They're happy. You got to take into ca uh, taxes from going from Connecticut to LA, like that's a culture shock in and of itself, right? Do you want to deal with all the traffic and noise? And like, there's just so many elements that go into moving and uprooting into LA and being the head coach of the Lakers beyond just like the basketball stuff. Not everybody is built that way, right? Again, it's easy for us because we don't have like, you know, most of us and most of you that are watching these videos, you're not making millions of dollars, right? Like I'm not even making hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? Like, so it's like, I, I like to me, I'm the same way. I'm like a hundred million dollars. Like, why would you turn that down? You got to be an idiot. But then if you take a step back and you really think about it, it's like, well, yeah. I mean, when you're, when you're worth millions, right? Like, you know, like, how much more can he spend? How much more does he want? He's comfortable. He's living his life, right? Again, if he was in his 30s, right? No, 100 million. It's like, man, I could do a lot with 100 million. Like, at my age, I'm 33, right? 33, you give me 100 million? Whew. Like, I have a family. I have a girl. Like, no, I, but believe me, me and my family would be living our best life, right? But at, you know, at 50, I might look at it and go, you know, like, my kids are grown, right? Like, yeah, you know, it's just me and my wife. Like we're just we're just chilling. Like I don't want the noise. I want the yeah. It's nice. It'd be nice to travel, but I'm making five million a year. Like I, I can do everything I want. I'm making five million in Connecticut. Like I'm not making five million in, in L.A. where it's really a million, if that. Right. Like it's just it's a big big difference. Right. But to me, it makes sense that Coach K is kind of steering the ship and kind of going like, hey, like. Hey, and I'm sure Coach K is still being a big catalyst. I'm sure Coach K is still in like Dan Hurley's ear. Like, come on, dude. Like, you'd love it. But again, I said this, I know for a fact I said this in one of the videos, was like, if I was Dan Hurley, the first question I'd ask Coach K is, why did you say no? Right? Like, that would be my very first question. My very first thing to Coach K would be like, well, you were in the same position I was. And you turned it down. Now, you turned down technically more money than I did then I would be turning down, right? Like, why did you do it, right? Because I guarantee you it's probably a lot of the same reasons. I guarantee you it's probably a lot of the same thinking of like, dude, I'm, I'm making history, I'm comfortable, but I'm in full control, I don't have to answer to anybody. Like, it's just, there's so, I don't have to uproot my life and go to LA and, you know, my wife and all that. Like, it's just simpler. Right? Like sometimes, especially when you get to a certain age, simplicity is is wonderful. Right? Look, I'm not even 50, but I have an army of kids. I have a wife, right? I do YouTube. I'm my life is hectic and crazy. I want simplicity. I love simplicity. And I'm sure many of you that are parents as well that have crazy chaotic lives are all the same. Because if you have kids, you have a crazy chaotic life, right? Like, and I, all my kids are young, right? So again, there's never a dull moment. So I'm sure that I'm not the only one that's like, yeah, I, like simplicity and peace is like, you know, you would probably give up a million dollars for that in, in certain circumstances, right? Because it's just, again, it's a different world, right? He's comfortable. He's, you know, he's, he's not a kid that's like, ah, you know, 
Yeah, I want to chase these dudes. I want to chase school. Like, and again, the NBA is always going to be there. That's that's the problem. Is that like you know, if it was only the lay, like, hey, this is your only chance to get in the NBA. If you say no to this, that's it. Your opportunity is gone. Maybe it'd sway things more. But he's looking at it as like you know, like hey, I could go three peat, cement my history, create my legacy, and then when I'm ready, go jump into the NBA. There's gonna be other teams that want me. Right, like especially because the Lakers are chasing after me. There's gonna be another team that offers me a hundred million dollars, right? Like that's kind of the going right now for top coaches or what coaches want, right? Like all these coaches' contracts keep getting more and more and more, and there's no salary cap for coaches, right? So they pay them whatever they want. So I just, again, I hope it does. I genuinely do. I hope we land Dan Hurley. I really do. I, I want it. I love to see it. But again, don't get your hopes up. Right? Take it as like, hey. If it happens, great, right? If it doesn't, all right. Well, who who is it? Which I still lean towards J.J. Reddick. I still think it's going to ultimately be J.J. Reddick. But, again, I could be wrong, right? Dan Hurley could take the job. Let's go. I'll be pumped. I'll be excited. We'll talk about it, and we'll explore it. And hopefully Coach K is continuing to kind of, you know, pump into it and, and, like, nudge him. Like, come on, dude. Come on. Like, let's do it. But, oh, you know, the problem is that Coach K turned it down. Right, so like if I was Dan Hurley, I'd be like, like, dude, you, we're in the same boat I was, and said no. Right, so why should I say yes? Right, so it might not be the best candidate to kind of, like, hey, no, you should come to the Lakers, right? But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Past question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Um, do you, you know want Dan Hurley? Do you not? Again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot, so we enjoy these types of videos. Truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.